Hey, this is Raul and uh, how's it going everyone? We're doing a Sunday ride on a foggy winter morning. I don't know how much you're able to see me, but if you're able to see me, I thought why don't I take this opportunity to talk about winter riding gear. Now I'm showing up to this Sunday ride, so young riders coming up to me, they're cold, they don't have the right gear, and you know, when you're riding this, this kind of weather, riding gear is not just protection against crash it's protection against the wind the elements the cold everything so not only has your riding gear protect you from the eventual crash if you are unlucky enough to get in one but even if you're not crashing it should protect you and it should keep you safe from the cold because if you catch a cold you know you're gonna miss all riding season and we have only two months of winter which is proper temperatures for riding i believe personally then it's gonna get very hot out there and obviously we're gonna ride but don't want to miss this beautiful two months though there is a fogging issue anyways getting back to the topic how do you protect yourself from the cold first of all let's start from the head you have to wear a full face helmet it's gonna keep you safe uh, from all the cold air and uh, try to get a helmet with very thick padding so that when you're wearing it the padding kind of sits against your cheek and that protects you from the cold right so that's something that you can do and then what you can do is underneath the helmet the full face helmet you can wear a mask everybody's almost wearing a mask these days even that guy is wearing a mask so i'll just move up to him is a uh, Rohan on his Ducati 959 Pani Galley. He just got this motorcycle out of it. So you can see he's wearing a mask. So that kind of mask you can wear underneath it. I found a great deal, a 280 rupees mask, $5 about. And that mask from Amazon India, I'll leave the links to everything I'm talking about in the video description below. So this really cheap mask, but the material is really good. It's like those Nike um, dry fit t-shirts, stretchable and breathable, also moisture wicking, which means it takes the sweat away from your face and absorbs it keeps you dry as well as uh, protected from the cold it's pretty long so it covers the entire neck below it comes the jacket now i'm wearing a dainese super rider d dry jacket uh, and be uh, stopping over so you know the dainese super rider d dry jacket is is a textile jacket but it has a d dry liner that is a single liner that works for both waterproof as well as cold proof which means up to four degree temperature you can wear this and nothing else like just a jacket and a t-shirt underneath I'm wearing but I'm pretty okay with it t-shirt underneath it and it's pretty good so that's the option in jacket it's kind of expensive five hundred dollars or thirty eight thousand rupees in India but Dainese's d-dry jackets start from around twenty thousand to twenty four thousand I don't exactly remember in cheaper things I think there are a lot of Indian jackets which are not really that expensive so if you are wearing one of those jackets let's start from around five to seven K or if you really have the money you can go for a leather jacket like this this is perf leather though so it's gonna flow in some air but uh, you can just wear a liner in underneath it and there's gonna be nothing that's better than a leather jacket in this kind of weather but I do say that leather jacket isn't waterproof and the mist kind of hurts your leather but you can wipe it off it doesn't really get damaged so that's the jacket below which we're talking about gloves now I'm wearing these Dionysus uh, race gloves kind of track focused they have these small holes which is not good for this kind of weather it's kind of freezing my fingers but if you wear any ja any gloves I'll list a few Cramster makes one um, Spartan makes one for cold as well as for you know wet weather that means rain if you're not aware so that kind of weather you can wear that kind of gloves in winter as well as your rains and it starts from around 3000 I believe it's gonna keep you fingers very warm another thing is if you don't know even if your motorcycle doesn't come with heated grips some bikes do you can install heated grips now that's I'm talking about the northeastern or even the northern states of India where it gets really cold you don't have to really damage your fingers and be uncomfortable because your fingers are what's controlling the bike so if they get too cold you might crash because of that so I don't want that to happen so you, you most people don't know but heated grips is a very cheap mod you can mod your bike to feel comfortable in the winters that's one thing 
going a little bit below it's beautiful it's beautiful isn't it the r3 the ducati 959 panigale and even that 14 are looking just cinematic in this uh, surrounding so we're moving down to the pants i'm wearing normal pants but you can wear any riding pant about five to seven k again i think more than seven k and that's the starting level if you go up to dine easy that's gonna be around twenty thousand or more but most of the riding pants are very warm so they're gonna keep you warm you can wear like protectors that's gonna give you some sort of protection and boots i wear non-perf boots so these are non-perforated boots no airflow they work pretty good in summers and they're even better in winters because no airflow you feel my feet are completely warm so below which uh, if you're still feeling cold and stuff you can wear thermal inners which you can get from uh, any brand like those brands which make undergarments like jockey they make very good thermal inners and you can just wear it and uh, even take it down to a few more degrees and it'll still be warm and fine so i hope you enjoyed this video i now have to take some photos of these motorcycles they're looking absolutely great so thanks for watching and i'll see you very very soon this is Rahul. goodbye we lose our sight